Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you an update on my channel. You probably noticed I haven't posted any riding videos lately. And that's because I hurt my, injured my foot, not riding my bike, thank goodness. It was another uh, athletic injury, but it is healing up great. And I'm probably just a week away from being able to get back on my bike. I'm so excited. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know what's going on. I did take a recent trip, I uh, drove my truck. But to a place where I use, I go a lot actually on my bike whenever I uh, motorcycle camp. It's Davy Crockett Campground in Greenville, Tennessee. And so I did some video from there. I thought you might enjoy watching that uh, for the update. But uh, I've got my tent. It is a Nemo Morpho two-person tent. It's got an air beam technology in it. You just kind of pump up the beams. There's no, no poles in it. It's really neat. And uh, it's what I usually take whenever I go motorcycle camping. And then I... Uh, kind of show you some of my favorite uh, instant coffee camping because instant coffee is kind of hard to find and just a beautiful view of the Nolichucky River and the fire and it's uh, it was a great time so again thanks for hanging with me and I'm going to be getting some more videos up soon and uh, again thanks for subscribing to the channel and I hope you enjoy this um, this little video What's up guys? I am on a camping trip for at least one night, maybe two. But I am in Greenville, Tennessee at Davy Crockett State Park. You see my little side here, chair, tent, truck, and the most beautiful park right here on the Nolichucky River. Look at this. It's just this gorgeous, it's beautiful. See the rest of the campground. So yeah, just to get a little bit of uh, rest, to get caught up, to clear my mind. We all need times like that. So looking forward to this. I'm not sure, my buddy may be coming down to join me. I don't know, we'll see if he makes it down. Hope so, but if not, man, there's all kinds of these bugs here. Look at this, check this out. That gross you out. See there? Everywhere, it's crazy. But that's part of camping, that's part of being outside. If you're afraid of a bug, don't go camping. I'm just saying, don't do it. Because you will see a bug. Sometimes big ones. Look at that. Mm. Man. I mean, I gotta lay in my tent tonight and hear that river go by? That's gonna, that's gonna be great. That's gonna be great. Well, I'm gonna try to get just a little bit of work done here. And uh, so I'll see you after a while. Okay guys, I'm on a trail down by the river just down from my camp it is um, it's beautiful out here today you can see just gorgeous I hear some birds I can see them it's pretty cool Yeah, this trail goes up through here. I'm not sure how far it goes. I think it goes quite a ways. Man, it is peaceful out here. And just a great way to relax. And chill out. And kind of put some worries behind you and struggles and things like that. And have a good time. Relaxing. You can see how pretty it is out through here. Look at that. Isn't that. Beautiful. The trail going back through there. Here's the trail going the other way. Look 
Gotta watch for snakes though. I am down here in the territory where it could be a snake just about anywhere. Kind of watch vlogging. I'm looking at the camera instead of watching for snakes. That could be that could be an issue. Could definitely be an issue. If you never get a chance to get outdoors and do some camping, I would encourage you to do that with your family. I grew up camping. I've always loved it. So I'm kind of looking forward to uh, fire tonight. A campfire and just hanging out. And maybe a Diet Coke or something. So, yeah. You now the sun is start. The sun is starting to go down, and it is just gorgeous out here. Camp. Kind of see there. So we're getting ready to get some firewood and uh, the sun will be down in about an hour and we're going to fire up the fire and just kind of chill out. That's my view. You can't beat it. That's good, isn't it? I'm going to have some coffee in the morning. And you know what? I looked for years and years for some good instant coffee and there's there was not really any and all of a sudden I tried Starbucks has got some instant coffee and it is is really good and so that's what I'm gonna do I'll take uh, of course I got my cup here to drink out of and then my jet bowl that um, uses some gas and we will pull up some water and put that coffee in there in the morning it's gonna be really really good Looking forward to that. One of the treats in camping is always donuts of the morning, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But I gotta have some coffee to get going. Really nice out here. Just a lantern for tonight. Actually, just a little weather ready energizer. It actually does really good. You don't need a lot around here. And the tent's ready. Got the mattress you can see in there. It's already blown up. I'm sleeping by laid out and kind of airing out. This is a Nemo Morpho two person tent, but you'd have to be really good friends for two people to sleep in there. Two kids, yes. Two adults, I don't know. Maybe your wife. But it's called, it's got air beam technology, and there's, um, there's no poles. There's just a beam right here. It's got air. And a beam right here with, with air. It's pretty cool. You just pump it up, and when you get ready to go, you just stick a valve on there, and and it plops right down. So it's really fast, packs small, not big, but serves the purpose because all you want to do in there is sleep, right? All right, so woo, we will. See you guys later. I think this chair right here is calling my name. I'm gonna relax, watch the sun go down, get a fire going here in a little bit. I have heard that this is good for mosquitoes and bugs, so I'm giving it a shot. Okay, guys, you're not gonna believe this, but the park ranger just came by and uh, said that they saw. Uh, Two sets of bear tracks today just right out here along the river and um, he also told me that the people stand right next to me right there that they heard some kind of grunting noise in the middle of the night so um, could be interesting could be interesting night we'll see how see how it goes bears yeah, I guess you need bears when you're camping, right? Maybe they'll come out of those woods over there, something over the mountains. I don't know. Oh well. I guess this is when you want one of those big deals so you can get, climb in there and be safe. But I'm in this little tent, and I guess one swipe of the paw and I'm done. 
<laughs> we'll see how it goes. Fire is warm. Feels good. Nice chair. That. Get the river right there. You can't see it. Uh, well, I just got up. It's about uh, 50 degrees. Not bad at all. Actually slept pretty good. I woke up three or four times. No bears. No bears. It's great. Got a fire going this morning. Warm up. Like about 2.30 I heard something. Dogs going crazy and a growling kind of things. So anyway, here we are. It's morning time. Fire going. I said we're gonna have some donuts. In a few minutes we'll make up some coffee and um, just chill here on the river. Yeah. So we're going to make some coffee with the jet bowl. Pop that out. You screw your stove onto the bottom. And you screw your gas onto the bottom of that. Take your water, figure out how much you want. Take a good cup. All right, then in. So, just like that, you're boiling water. Some coffee in a minute. We got some Starbucks via instant coffee. This is the packed place. Best instant coffee you can get. Good stuff. Okay, you can see this is just about ready to boil. I don't like to get it really hot for my coffee. So we're gonna get it going. Have some coffee by the fire. Beautiful view. The sun coming up over the top of the mountain. Gorgeous day. guys well that's going to do it for the camping trip I'm glad you could come along and, and hang out I had a restful day good night's sleep and night is getting ready to come again you can see the beautiful river behind me once again and I've got a fire I'm going to hang out here by the fire for a few more hours and then I've got to take off I've got to go and help with the funeral my um, uncle passed away and so one of his wishes was that I have a part in it and I'm honored that he would ask me to do that along with some other great men. So it'd be a tough, tough, but at the same time he lived a great life. So anyways, thanks for joining us on this vlog and we'll catch you next time.